Some of y'all get offended just really embrace what i'm saying right so y'all know i spoke like a couple days ago just about the idea that um let me put it like this there's a lot of us that feel like you know we're good people and you know we speak on what we feel like we deserve right and i'm doing a zoom tomorrow night on self-esteem if you're trying to get in the zoom text 678-965-0698 um, and zero, Zoom is worldwide, so you can get in the Zoom no matter where you're located at. But I want to say this, right? Even pertaining to the topic I'm doing the Zoom on and what I spoke on um, a few days ago. A lot of people believe that they're good people. But then y'all don't like to be accountable for the fact that y'all actions and the seasons y'all be in in y'all life where you be being acted obsessive, compulsive, no management of emotions, you know, no real responsibility for the shit you be done did. Some of y'all no real remorse for the way you be done moved with people. Y'all like end up in a space where your self-esteem is affected because you're not being honest with yourself about what the fuck was really going on. Some of y'all, you really ain't catching on to what I'm saying. So of course, like always, I'm going to break it down, right? It'd be a lot of y'all like, it'd be one relationship, maybe more than one. It'd be one breakup, maybe more than one that be done turn y'all the fuck out. Like some of y'all females, it's that one baby daddy, he fucked you up, girl. Some of y'all dudes, that one baby mama, she fucked you up. Like the stuff y'all went through, the breakup you went through, the shit they did to you turned you into a completely different person. Y'all don't get it? I'll break it down even further. Some of y'all over ex or a, a, a breakup, you turned into a fucking compulsive ass I can't control myself. I obsess over the most dumbest shit ass person. Still don't know what I'm talking about? I break it down. Male or female, it's quite a bit of y'all. Y'all obsess over an ex or somebody you just broke up with or that you're still in one of them toxic cycles with. You obsess over them people. You fucking watch everything about their life. You get bothered by everything they do. You get upset by every type of post they make. You feel like it's about you. Even when it ain't about you, you will take things and turn them into situations where somehow they're a problem for you when in your actual life, when it comes to getting your money, taking care of your kids, you know, building yourself up, your well-being, it don't actually matter. 
Y'all become obsessive and co-parent to situations to the point where your whole existence be about trying to make your baby daddy suffer. Your whole existence be about how to avoid taking care of your kid just to make your baby mama mad. Y'all become obsessive and literally compulsive and literally operating like a fucking walking feeling. Some of y'all, it be that one relationship that fucked you up. You ain't no good person no more. And you ain't always got to be like that. But in this current day, bitch, you're fucked up. Like your motives, your intentions is all centered behind some bullshit. You are no longer the innocent person that you want people to believe that you are. You have changed. You have evolved. That shit you've been through has turned you different. Y'all start to chase validation from other people because you stayed with a motherfucker that invalidated you so much. Some of y'all, you was married or dated for years, a narcissist. So now everything you do is obsessive and compulsive based on emotions, trying to make us think something different about you than what you've shown us. Y'all try to undo behaviors with words and shit. You act crazy and shit and try to make it seem like it's because of somebody else, as if you're in not in control or accountable for the shit you say and do. Y'all try to prove points to where you take it too far. Oh, some of y'all understand what I'm explaining because this y'all, you become emotionally driven. You don't be a good person no more. The good girl you thought you was, the good dude you thought you was, your baby mama, your baby daddy, that ex, that one relationship, it fucked you up. Literally. Some of y'all, you start operating the way where you neglect yourself and your responsibilities. Y'all be out here doing crazy shit with your kids, leaving them anywhere, running the streets, trying to prove a point based on what the fuck you sat up and allowed yourself to sit in. And then you wonder why the universe, God, Allah, Buddha, motherfucking Yahweh, them beads, uh, whoever the fuck you go see, you wonder why they ain't sending your ass another good person in your life. You believe you're a good person, and then you keep wondering why. I don't know why I can't find a good man. Damn, a nigga just want a loyal bitch. You're not loyal. You're not good right now. You in a season in your life where you compulsive as fuck. It has changed you. It be them one or two relationships in y'all life. Be them fucked y'all up. Literally. You start moving strange. Making unplanned decisions and shit. All kind of stuff that you know don't make sense. And then you will get upset at other people when they call a spade a spade. When they call that bullshit, bullshit. When they call the shit strange. You want to try to convince us it ain't strange. Girl, ever since that nigga left you alone, you ain't been right. Ever since old girl ain't been fucking with you, dude, you ain't been right. Ever since you and old boy fell out, bro, you ain't been right. I'm just keeping it all the way 1K with y'all. Some of y'all, you really need to get in my Zoom tomorrow. Or you need to take a season for yourself. You need to write some goals out. You need to redirect yourself. You need to get back to being a good person. Because right now, everything that you do, all of your intentions, all of your thoughts, all of your motives, your emotions, that shit be stemming from some negative ass shit based on some shit you sat up in that's affecting your self-esteem. Some of y'all, dude, the wrong bitch tried you and now you're scarred and you're bitter and you operate from a space where you may not feel like you're a bad dude, but your intentions tensions when you be going into stuff based on these points you're trying to prove and these motherfucking you know ways you're trying to make yourself look dude you're not a good dude right now you're not you're not this is why i always be talking about using the door or the window at the right time because a lot of y'all you be done sat in shit too long and you don't feel like it stank no more but you funky as fuck bitch it ain't right some of y'all genuinely believe you a good person, but the things that you are doing, the way you holding them kids from their fucking daddy, the way you keep making it seem like you can't take care of your kids because, of course, you don't like the whole attitude, so that give you an excuse to neglect your responsibilities. The way that y'all go around, and everything you do is about obsessing over an ex or something somebody supposedly said or something a hater thought they was finna do to you. Some old shit that's really just in your mind. It don't be no real obstacles. Like, the way that y'all be moving... You don't be a good person. I'm sorry. You don't be.
You don't be. I know you want to tell yourself that, but you don't be. You don't be. You don't be. I hope y'all genuinely understand what I'm explaining. All this shit be done played a role in your esteem about self. Most of the ways that a lot of y'all move and you don't realize it, but it's a direct reflection of your self-esteem. And it comes from you trying come from you trying to bounce back from certain breakups, from certain relationships, from certain stuff or ex be done said to your ass, from certain shit and certain ways you done sat around and let a narcissist or somebody from your past sit up there and treat you for years. Like it, it, it be a reflection of the shit that you be fighting, the demons that you be having going on. Shit be sad for some of y'all. Zoom tomorrow night, man. Some of y'all might need a one-on-one. -on -one. Text 678-965-0698. I don't know what else to tell you. Besides the fact that some of y'all got to be honest with yourself. You are not a good person right now in the season that you in in your life. It is time to really reevaluate how the fuck you moving. The way that you think. The stuff that's going on up here is a direct reflection of how the fuck you act in life. I hope y'all genuinely understand what the fuck I'm saying. Because some of y'all, man, you gone. Far gone. Way far gone. Way far gone. Too far gone. Zoom tomorrow night on self-esteem and boundaries. Some of y'all, you need to go really get on a journey of trying to get to know yourself and bounce back from that trauma and shit you've been through. Because a lot of y'all, you are not the good person that you want us to believe. Your motives when you wake up every day be to shit on people. Fucking prove points. You know, make yourself feel better based on what an ex or somebody did from an old relationship. And that shit is not organic. It's not pure. It's not real. It's not good. Regardless of how much you want us to believe you was a victim of what somebody else did, it still don't excuse your actions in this current day. This is why some of y'all can't find a good relationship moving forward. Because the past relationships done fucked you up too bad. The stuff you sat in prior done did too much damage, bitch. A lot of y'all, you're not ready for a good man right now. You're not ready for a good woman right now. You ain't ready for a loyal friend. You ain't ready for real support. Because the way your mind set up and how you can't trust, you don't got no boundaries, you don't understand what respect is, you don't have no real self-esteem, no real value of self based on the stuff you involve yourself in, the way you act, how much you gravitate towards negativity and hate, you're not ready. And that's just me being, being real with y'all ass. Some of y'all, them old relationships done fucked y'all up. Them friendships done fucked y'all up. An ex done tore your motherfucking ass from top to bottom. And bitch, you need to go heal. You need to go repair. For those of y'all that's getting in the, in the Zoom tomorrow, I'll see y'all tomorrow in the Zoom. Y'all make